Coast Report. We have main engine start. Four, three, two, one, and lift off. Lift off. Oh, the the fifth space shuttle mission, and it has cleared the tower. Challenger going into its roll. That's planned. Farther away from pad 39B, the first use of pad 39B since the old Apollo days and the Skylab missions. It's chilly in Florida. Icicles formed on the pad overnight. NASA engineers were concerned that they might have broken off during the launch and affected the fragile heat protection tiles that protect the shuttle on its way back in during re-entry. We'll travel down to 65% shortly. Don't know what the effect might be just yet. The astronauts will take a look later on during the mission. Engines at 65 percent. Three engines uh, are running normally. Three good fuel cells. Three good APUs. APUs, the auxiliary power units. 2,257 feet per second. Altitude 4.3 nautical miles. Downrange distance 3 nautical miles. It's always amazing to hear how quickly the shuttle moves. It's already more than four miles downwind as we get started. Engines throttling up. Three engines now at 104 percent. Challenger, go and throttle up. Challenger, go and throttle up. This shuttle mission will launch, my God, there's been an explosion. Velocity 2,900 feet per second, altitude 9 nautical miles, downrange distance 7 nautical miles. This is not standard. This is not something that is planned, of course. I can see a solid rocket booster has broken away from Shuttle Challenger. That's what you're looking at in the middle of your screen. I cannot see the shuttle itself. I don't know if it's able to continue on one rocket booster if it's able to jettison that rocket booster, it will be able to return to the Kennedy Space Center, perhaps. The shuttle engines are not enough to power the shuttle back down. It would have to shut down. looking very carefully at the situation. Obviously a major malfunction. I hope they were able to survive. I hope the astronauts are no We have absolutely no sign at all of the shuttle itself. All we saw was that one explosion only about a minute into the flight. And we saw the solid rocket booster. Now here's something coming down. I don't know what that is. I don't think that that's the shuttle. I believe that's a piece of debris that's coming back earthbound. I don't know. It's too small for the shuttle itself. We have main engine start.